This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the stereochemistry of amino acids. As you may remember from the previous video, a chiral carbon atom is a carbon atom bonded to four different atoms or groups. Amino acids are optically active, with the exception of glycine, and exist as enantiomers. Here we can see the two enantiomers or stereoisomers of the amino acid alanine. The chiral carbon atom, which is shown with a red asterisk, is bonded to four different atoms or groups. The two enantiomers are mirror images of each other and they rotate the plane of plane polarized light in equal amounts but in opposite directions. The Korn rule can be applied to name the two stereoisomers. When using the Korn rule, the molecule is viewed with the hydrogen atom facing away from the viewer. If we give the carboxyl group the letter CO, the side chain the letter R, and the amino group the letter N, we can see it spells corn. If the corn is spelt clockwise, it is the D isomer. If the corn is spelt counterclockwise, it is the L isomer. So if we look at the isomer on the left, the corn is spelt counterclockwise, therefore it is the L isomer. And if we look at the isomer on the right, the corn is spelt clockwise, therefore it is the D isomer. So the names of these isomers are L alanine on the left and D alanine on the right. The proteins in our bodies are only composed of the L enantiomers of amino acids. This means that 19 of the 20 naturally occurring amino acids exist as L enantiomers. The DNL convention refers to the optical activity of the enantiomers of glyceraldehyde. D-glyceraldehyde is dextro-rotatory and L-glyceraldehyde is levo-rotatory. This refers to the direction of the rotation of plane polarized light.